This is a video I probably should have made uh, a while ago. I don't know why I was dragging my feet on it. This is something that's been a problem uh, for a few years now, and I needed to address it with you, and that is No More Mongoose. <laughs> That's right, that's right. Now, uh, those of you that are seasoned oil painters might have noticed that, that there is no more mongoose. And I say to you, you didn't listen to me. I tell you all the time to clean your brushes because you never know when they might disappear for good. So, for those of you that are new to oil painting, mongoose represented something very special to an oil painter. Really, it's a shame that a lot of artists that have gotten started in the past few years didn't even know that something like this existed, that this was an option. And might not have even been turned on to doing more art because they got frustrated with either having only a set of bristle brushes, only a set of Kalinsky brushes or the like. You need what we call the arsenal. You need a selection. You don't need a full set necessarily of 24 different styles of bristle brushes, unless that's your thing, that's okay. But I find that most artists want a selection of certain sizes uh, and certain head shapes uh, and certain hairs to fit their art individual artistic painting style. Other than mongoose hair, there was basically, basically, two other staples. You had your bristle brush and your Kalinsky brush, okay? And these brushes both serve uh, two different purposes. I mean, if you want to go very thick, impasto-style painting, um, bold brush strokes, I mean, a bristle brush powers through thick paint, and it, and it leaves those brush strokes in there, as you can see. It's not a fine detail brush. It's, it's kind of like the, um, I don't know, I think it's kind of like the muscle brush. You know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to push through the color. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you have your Kalinsky sable brush. Now, this brush, uh, you don't see brush strokes. I'm do something with this. Put you right there. Um, it, you know, minimal brush strokes, softer, uh, good for finer detail, depending on the type of uh, brush head that you're using. But... Because it's not very structurally tough like the bristles, it has a harder time, especially with thicker paint. So for example, right here, I have some Old Holland paint. Now, Old Holland is notoriously a pretty stiff paint, and it just, it doesn't pull very easily. In fact, anything I'm pulling right now is just basically from any solvent that's left over in the brush. I'm not getting a good amount of paint in terms of if I wanted to do something a little thicker or impasto, but it will make nice smooth marks. So basically we have a mama bear and we have a, a papa bear and we need our baby bear. We need something in the middle and that is what mongoose represented to artists uh, for centuries, millennia, I don't even know if there's eras, uh, eons. So this is something that has been a problem because mongoose is no longer available. You can't import it, you can't buy it. It is a protected animal and uh, I think that's probably a good thing. Um, but it did leave artists in the lurch. They needed something to get in between. Well, Jerry's took the challenge, and we wanted to find a way that we could not just simulate mongoose, but we wanted to give people a real authentic mongoose experience. In fact, I'm, I'm definitely gonna sound biased up here. I think we might have even exceeded it in terms of performance. And that is with these Hamburg brushes, okay? These are Hamburg Badger brushes. It's a combination of natural hair with synthetic. These are handmade in Germany. In fact, we'll show some B-roll right now of um, we had the master brush maker come in and make these uh, in our studio so you can get a feel for just how handmade they are and the craftsmanship that goes into making these. These are very special brushes. This is your baby bear. And this is a staple brush. You know, I think for... Most oil painters, you know, uh, depending on the brand, a size 8 to 12 filbert is just a good all-around go-to brush that will do just about anything you need to in a pinch. Of course, it's always nice to have other brushes, but it is, uh, you know, for finer detail or larger areas. But it is just a great all-around, all-purpose brush because you're going to be able to get some brush strokes. You're going to be able to come in and, and, and put down some paint. And if I move my mama bear out of the way, you can see that you're still getting some brush strokes, right? Now, I can go in and let me just clean this real fast. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to remove as much of this uh, Chelsea Classical Lavender brush cleaner off of it as possible so that I'm not getting 
because like I said, when I was using the Kalinske, a lot of this is just the thinner kind of thinning the paint out. I wanted to show you, you can power through a very thick paint and get some thick uh, application. And it's in between. These brushes have really surpassed the original, the mongoose, and thank you science for that. That's good, right? Uh, and they will give you a very good painting experience, uh, especially for those of you that have never tried mongoose and have kind of been stuck with either, you know, something on the far end of the spectrum of soft to, to, to stiffer like the bristle. There are other brushes out there, um, but mongoose was something really special. And I got to say, I'm, I'm very pleased with these Hamburg brushes. I don't come up here and give really, really strong endorsements unless I really believe in the product. And like I said, I've met the brush maker for these, I've sat down with him, we've filmed with him, I've painted with them, and they really do perform superiorly. And it's a great all around brush. And for those of you artists that might be missing your mongoose because you didn't take care of your brushes, take care of your brushes, folks. Public service announcement, the more you know. Uh, this is going to really blow your mind uh, in terms of how it performs and, and it's gonna be like getting an old friend back from the dead. Yeah, that never goes right. It's gonna be like getting an old friend back from high school. I don't like that either. You'll feel good painting with these. Is that good enough? Okay, everybody calm down, especially you. Katie's laughing at me because we know he's out there since middle school, but still, that has nothing to do with this. Anyway, so this is a size 10 filbert. So brush sizes are not exactly standard. Uh, this might be a huge brush in a different brand at a size 10 and others smaller. Uh, I would say that a size 10 is, uh, Decent. I think I would prefer the 12 filbert as a good all-around go-to brush um, Just for size so like you can see here. This is a size 12 in the filbert New York Central Kalinske you see it's a little larger and in fact This is our filbert for the Imperial and that's even bigger So you're getting an idea that you know, this is a size 8 and this is a size 12. Well, I guess that yeah <laughs> If this is an 8 and this is a 12, there's no standards so across all brands, it can be a little bit tricky. So just, you know, public service announcement again. Um, but in this brand, I would say a size 12 uh, of the Hamburg Badger is a good all around brush if you wanted just one brush to try. Uh, but they do come in all different shapes, sizes, uh, smells, and flavors. Um, we've got this giant one here. This is a 24 Bright. And they have uh, fan brushes, uh, all, all kinds of different things. And they do really, really great in between work. And like I said, you can pick and choose your painting style and technique based on how you work with it, where you're kind of tied when using Kalinske to doing something a little bit more fine detail, a little bit softer, and you're kind of tied to doing something a little bit more coarse, not really fine detail when you're using stiff hog bristle brushes. Okay, this is a stiff brush. So um, if you're interested in trying these, I really invite you to do them. I actually put together a special price point on what we call our Explorer set, and I'll show you that real quick. This has a bunch of different size brushes in it, but most importantly, it does have that size 12 filbert that I really like. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have chosen this set um, because I really want you guys to, if, if you're interested in like what I think, in my opinion, is a really great go-to all-around brush, that, that, that size 12 filbert's there. And you have another assortment of other, you know, filberts, smaller head brushes, fine detail brushes, and it's really gonna give you a great opportunity. And we're putting a really special price on this for this weekend only so that you guys can give these a try. And when you do give these a try, you'll have that size 12 uh, in addition to the other brushes for a really, really special price. So check in the link below. It's gonna be for this weekend only until 11, 59 p.m. on Sunday, and you guys can try these Hamburg Premier for yourself. Now, as I've said, these brushes are a combination of natural and synthetic hair. Generally speaking, I don't promote using synthetic hair brushes that much for oil painting. I do promote them for watercolor and acrylic exclusively because in my opinion, the synthetics have gotten so advanced that they perform very, very adequately, if not better in some circumstances to a natural hairbrush, especially with acrylic. With that being said though, you treat these like a regular oil painting brush. You see me up here, I've got my Chelsea Classical Studio uh, brush cleaner. You clean them like a natural hairbrush, they behave like a natural hairbrush. And again, that science in there, the, <laughs> those synthetic hairs are pretty advanced that are mixed in with that natural badger hair. It's making for a really great authentic painting experience. So when I say, a, a, a combination, I really, unless somebody told me ahead of time that it was a combination of hairs, I would have assumed it was its own thing. Um, 
And that's pretty special. It's a pretty special brush. I, I, I wouldn't come up here and make a whole video talking about it if I didn't think that A, mongoose was an important staple for an oil painter to get the full advantage and use out of not only their paints, but their art, you know, getting, you know, I want you to be finished with your happy product, but also just a superior product that is interesting, that you can't get anywhere else, and is just so well made that I have seen being made myself. And that means the world to me is that, you know, I've been very fortunate to travel. I've been to paint factories all around the world. I've been to brush factories and the like. And when you get to really sit down with those that are the creators of these things and see the passion that they have, boy, is it inspiring. It really is. And uh, that, that passion and inspiration was definitely passed on to me uh, with these Hamburg Premier brushes. So if you want to give them a try, check out the code below this weekend only. If not, they're still always really a phenomenal price. We really try our best to price our brushes uh, as best as we can to give you guys the best deals because we want you making art more than anything else. Um, but hope you enjoy. Follow me on Instagram at Mike Now Jerry and tag me in your artwork. Show me what you're doing with your Hamburg brushes. Show me what you're doing in general. I'm always curious. Uh, and uh, I will see you on the next artist problem. And I think I've got more problems to share. I always do. One of them is why I'm doing this. I think it's getting the starch out. This is a newer one. It's so satisfying getting the starch out. It's like de-dandruffing the brush. I just made it, I just made it weird. We should probably end. <laughs>